gathered here just 18 months ago, and I believe you're going to see some slides from that process for the uh, dedication of this facility. Although we uh, continue with the building, we have, we have a lot of punch list items we need to do yet down here, but the major construction was really finished on or about the 15th of July, 2011. You know, this facility will help advance our college as we move forward because we've identified three what we call signature areas in the college that are very important to the college's future. We think also very important to the, the food and agricultural industry, the state, nation, and even beyond. Let me just go through those real quickly. One is, we, is in the food area. We call it food security, production, and human health. And food security is all encompassing term that will involve food availability, food safety, food quality, and of course cost. And production is what production is. You gotta produce it where you can do something with the food. But we see this as an opportunity, this facility, to help us in this area as well, especially in the food safety side. Infectious diseases, diseases that come in and we can't work with any other way unless we have a facility like this. that will protect our food and keep it safe for a long time to come. The second area is environmental quality and sustainability. And there we're talking about areas that can be helpful in as well as we talk about your ash ashbore. That's an environmental issue. If we lose all our ash trees, and environmental aesthetics and so forth in that, in that regard. The third one we're calling advanced bioenergy and bio-based products. And as we work with energy crops, protecting them so we have crops that we can produce for the future energy needs for this country. That's important. So we see how this facility really connects in that way, and one that we can be and be very proud of. And we think this is going to set us apart from a lot of research stations around the country and a lot of universities because we have access to this particular type of facility. You know, Bobby mentioned food safety. Do you ever stop to think how you and I can go to the grocery and go to the restaurants, we can go to places and we take for granted that that food is safe. We take for granted that when we buy something in a can or whatever, that somebody's making sure that it's safe for our human consumption. And that certainly can't be true in all parts of the world as we see uh, in watching uh, TV you know, when some of the uh, terrible things that happen to people in areas and part of it I think is the lack of food safety. I have a warm spot for the OARDC because I came here as a young boy with my father who was a dairy farmer and he always came to Dairy Day and I would come along with him and uh, he believed in the things that were being done here then in making the dairy farms more progressive, making agriculture more a dynamic part of our uh, life in a as a nation. So I, I appreciated that fact. I have some interesting discussions with one of my colleagues who's on, I will not name, but who is a, thinks that all of this research and uh, putting hybrids and this type of thing is somehow a conspiracy to do, do in the public. Well, my dad bought hybrid seed corn. He's probably one of the first that started using hybrid seed corn, and I made it somehow in spite of the fact that hybrids are evil. It's been a decade of planning and thinking and looking at where we're going, and then a decade of putting those pieces in place so that we could then build what we're dedicating today. And a lot of people have been involved in that process. We recognize that 20 years ago, when Bobby started his leadership at the college, that it was very, very important for us to take an assessment of where we were going and what we needed to be doing. We knew we had the scientists. We knew we had the science to do the things that we needed to do. But as you go along that path, what you realize is you have to provide them the tools and the facilities to also make that happen. This got ratcheted up a little bit when an event called 9-11, which we've also uh, recognized a 10-year anniversary a few, a few uh, weeks ago, when that occurred. And I think that one of the things that came out of that was a recognition of how critical 
food, fiber, fuel supply is in this country. When you look at agriculture, when you look at our water supplies, all of this got ratcheted up in people's minds at that time. From our standpoint, it underscored how critical it was for us to move ahead with where we are now. On behalf of the university, which is one of the largest and most comprehensive universities in the country, um, we are so excited to be present and to open this food, agro-security, and biosafety facility. As previous speakers like Dave and Bobby have pointed out, this is a very unique facility. It's one of only a few in the country that's going to have the capability to do high security research with both plants and animals, and animals both large and small. This represents an amazing opportunity for Ohio State. 